Bowers Game Corner presents Gen Con Video Bonanza 2016. Brought to you by Gutshot Games and their Gen Con release, Headhunters, a collectible card game and a collectible toy. And Shoot Again Games, makers of Looting Atlantis and Conspiracy. Look for Pinball Showdown on Kickstarter soon. Also brought to you by the generous support of these companies and our fantastic Kickstarter backers. Hi there, YouTube! I'm back again today for more of our Gen Con Bonanza Explosion Blowout coverage. Right now we are at the Brain Games booth with Eagles, and we're going to be talking about their new U.S. release, Game of Trains. Hey, Eagles. Correct. Yeah. Hi. How's Game of Trains? What is Game of Trains? What's going on? Uh, it's a card game for two to four players, relatively simple one, for 20 minutes to half an hour. And... Uh, yeah, uh, there are cards, a number from 1 to 84, and uh, it's not only the n numbers that are unique, but also the artwork of each card is unique. Uh, so each player gets a uh, set of seven cards that are that you put in descending order in the beginning. So this one's right, yeah, in descending order, so the highest in the beginning, the lowest uh, in the middle. The first player who gets his train in ascending order is the winner. And uh, the options you have in your turn is uh, you either you take a card from the deck and then you replace it with one of yours. 77 should be around here. This card goes in the middle. Uh, or the other option you have is to take a card from the middle. Uh, if you take the card from the middle, it's not the number that counts, but the special power that counts. So if I take this card, I can exchange any two adjusted cards, right? Like that, for example. Or uh, this one allows me to move any cards in that direction two spaces, like that, right? So uh, and. Uh, there's a mechanic how you can influence what's in the middle. For example, if I if I uh, see that uh, you need this card, so if there are two symbols, two identical symbols on the table like this, they got discarded, right? So uh, this is how you can influence what's on in the middle. If I know that you need this card, I would try to uh, play play out this card so it gets discarded. So the first player who gets his train in ascending order is the winner. Uh, player count, time link, all that good stuff? Uh, yeah, the two to four players, uh, 20 minutes, half an hour. And where can we steer people towards this game and towards brain games in general? It's uh, We have a website, uh, www.brain-games.com. <laughs> and uh, yeah, brick and mortar stores. Awesome, awesome. Coming to a store near you. Go ahead and online. Get it anywhere. If you enjoyed this Gen Con coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Trains. Have you ever ridden on a train for a long distance? Have you? Uh, I wish I have ridden the Trans-Siberian, but I haven't yet. Yeah, my wife took a train and it got it actually got sidetracked for six hours because there were cows in the road. Wow. And I was like, you know what, that kind of makes train travel a little less appealing to me. But yes, I've always wanted to travel on a train. But let me know in the comments below, do you do train travel? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. This was brought to you by Headhunters from Gunshot Games, Pinball Showdown from Shoot Again Games, these great companies, and fans like you.